<laughs> Do you know that guy? Hey all, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Jed's here and I'm uh, standing on the banks of the Ohio River in Indiana on Route 66. I'm looking at beautiful Kentucky, uh, Jay Burkhart's motherland. And uh, I'm here with Neil and we're gonna do a quick review of his 2018 BMW K1600 GTL. Uh, now, Neil, uh, how long have you had the bike for? So I've had it for uh, a couple months now, maybe two months. Okay. And, and yeah, she's just a wee baby. <laughs> Only uh, 2,800, 2,900 miles on it. Let's see if we can get it to. Where do you see that, my friend? Oh, I gotta go get my key. Oh, that's all right. So, uh, so have you done anything to this? this is a pretty stock, pretty stock bike. Yeah, the GTL comes with the top case. Um, it's pretty much loaded up. I did yeah. add this tail light. Okay. Um, which is nice, obviously. You should pop that trunk. I, it's pretty sweet because when you pop that, it's all hydraulic. I mean, come on. That's the bee's <laughs> freaking knees right there. It even has a light. If it's dark out, the light comes on, like your trunk in your car, which is funny. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of nice little niceties like that yeah so plenty of storage okay um, you can't put a full face helmet because it's a little lower low profile right it's super wide but you can get full face helmets in the uh, saddle bags also keyless entry that is awesome so keyless entry even on the bags yeah on everything so there's just one little button um, you press on on your handlebar if your key fob is within range yep uh, it'll let you lock it or unlock it. Also, same thing for locking your, your fork. You just press this down and it'll lock. And that's that. That is crazy. So uh, you wanna go through like what the specs are on this, this beast here? Sure, inline six beast. What did we say, 1,649 cc's was it? Yeah, it's a, no, yeah, just about a 1,650. It's almost close to a 1,700, I'd say. Yeah, well, <clears throat> yeah, but it's it's amazing how they did this because the power band is insane. You, you've got all this torque in whatever gear you're in, so you could be doing 60 in third yep. or sixth, and it doesn't care. Yeah. You, you know, you're still gonna have plenty of uh, torque to get your pickup and you can cruise. Uh, 18, I think, is when they came out with that Shift Assist Pro. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, all you have to do is keep a steady throttle, kick it up. You don't even have to touch the clutch. Yeah. And when you want to downshift, you just shift, close the throttle, kick it down. It'll do the rev matching for you either way. Really? Yeah. So when you think about that power band and that, you know, Shift Assist Pro, um, Pro it's almost like having an automatic transmission. That's... Those are used to doing all that. Right. Wow. So that definitely... Uh helps with the the long rides i bet and freaking sport rides and this thing i mean we just went through some really twisty roads and you're right there and you're not even even close to clearance and we were hitting some of these turns pretty hot yeah that's the thing i mean when i first test drove this when it first came out i owned um an rt at the time i think mm -hmm. and uh they were calling this a luxury tour but with that lean angle it, it's really like a sport tour so right i don't know i mean like you say you know in the right hands you can definitely keep up with anybody and then with this shift assist pro it's totally cheating yeah <laughs> I mean, what you're doing is kicking through the, the gears know, gears while you're laying on the throttle it's insane that's awesome and it's got the dual dual lever front suspension that's pretty much an pretty standard on most BMWs these yeah, days. so again, it's very much like cheating. You can be totally breaking into a turn, yep. and it'll keep your suspension flat. So you, for those guys who are experts at trail breaking, you don't really need it with this. It'll right. for you. I think the and coolest... Keep it nice and nimble, too. Yep. And I think the coolest thing I picked out was the valve stem is on the spoke. Just yeah. Again, just a little nicety to keep things nice and easy for you. So you're not fighting trying to get put a an air chuck on on the uh, inside of the rim it's just right there for you yeah they really put a lot into this bike even when i first rode it honestly when i first rode it i felt it was too refined for me i'm like i don't feel like i'm doing anything you know? right right <laughs> but now i'm getting a little older i appreciate it a little bit more um and it's really like i was telling you earlier this six cylinder inline six mm -hmm. it's just like a huge sport engine yeah it sounds like a sport engine you know you can rev it high if you want 
So it's more of a sport tour than it is a real full-on tour. That's the way I look at it. Somebody called it a cruiser. I'm like, mm, no. I mean, it has a low seat height. Yep. You can actually get a higher seat option. But with that lean angle, I mean, yeah, I can put my feet flat on the ground sitting on this thing. But at the same time, you just you mentioned it earlier, with that lean angle, really, you can carve it up with this bike. Right. So you don't have to get the RT, even though the RT is awesome for sport touring. Um, if you... If, for whatever reason you you like what this has going for it it'll do your sport touring as well as your luxury long distance stuff so those fog lights standard they are really yeah i i think they might even be on the gt so they made a gt and a gtl um the ergos are a little different yeah uh, the suspension's a little stiffer on the right. gt um the seats higher on the gt and uh i don't know if the gt includes those fog lights but those things are crazy bright i yeah. them on all the time just for visibility and speaking of lights mm -hmm. yeah didn't talk about this yet. no this headlight turns with you so it leads into turns really so, yeah this thing is sick at night especially in a place like this where you know it can, you're riding through a forest and it gets dark right it's the light shines through the turn that's so that's when amazing you swing this way and that way yeah yeah so that is a cool feature and I, you know, I've seen some reviews. That's one of the things I'm glad you're doing this review because I was, I, there's nobody reviewing this bike. I, I was trying to do my homework and nobody had anything to say about it. I well, found like three or four we'll have a lot to say about it. <laughs> yeah. And one of the guys just raved about this and I, I do agree. I don't do a lot of riding after dusk. Yep. Anybody who's had some close calls with deer and whatnot, mm -hmm. you know, I try to avoid it. But when you, when you're out at night, it's pretty cool. So, uh, what else, what other spiffy features this thing have i noticed it has a reverse uh, r on it for reverse gear yeah yeah that's so crazy with the with the wet weight being over 770 pounds i think it was yep which it, actually isn't too heavy for a bike of this this big good point yeah i mean it moves with that engine it moves around nicely and the suspension can handle it but if you're in a downward position and you're going two up yep um, that can be a lifesaver, you know? So I've used it half a dozen times at least. I used it once today with you. Right. Where it's like, you just, all you have to do is pop it into neutral, you know, shift it into neutral, and then press this R button, and it uses the starter motor to back the thing up. <laughs> nice little pace, you know, it moves, it's not too slow. Yeah. Uh, and so you don't ever have to worry about getting stuck. And they didn't add that to this bike until, I think it was new in 2018. So this has been around from since 12. Yeah. So there's a lot of guys out there that I'm sure were in a situation or two where they wish they had that. It's pretty nice. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's got the heated seats, front and back. This is for the back. Um, and we'll have to get into the display, but it's got yep. the heated grips. Um, we'll talk about the Wonder Wheel when we'll look at that. Um, it even has keyless, it's called keyless ride here, but same thing for your gas. You know, if your key is close, Yep. Bike's on, you just pop it open. Um, That's crazy. Yeah. And you if don't I'm have to fiddle, far, take yeah. a key out of the ignition, and put it back in. Exactly. So if wow. The fob, and if the fob's not close, that can't happen. It won't open. That is crazy. So what do these buttons here do? So this is your audio. And that's yep. another thing we got to remember to talk about when we're going into the... Um, the Wonder Wheel? The, yeah, the Wonder Wheel and the onboard display and the menu and everything. Yep. Because uh, I couldn't find the digital speedo on this thing, and I had to pull up a YouTube video to find it. Yeah. All you had to do was shut off the stereo, and the digital speedo comes back. Really? Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. So now I get that was a nice little, you know, there's a few people that have videos on that out there. But so this is your audio control. You can do some with the Wonder Wheel in the main menu. Yep. Um, that's all that is. You get a couple co cool. You know, stowaway compartments in here. That's pretty cool. On that side, they actually do the uh, USB and the audio. Oh, wow, look at that. So you can stick your, you know, a device you or device an auxiliary have. cord and plug anything in. Yeah, your MP3 player, your iPod, whatever. Um, or you can just power it so you got you can charge it while you're riding. Got another um, power source here. <laughs> so if you want to plug your phone in while it's up here or whatever. Right. Wow. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. So, a lot of this stuff we'll talk about with the display. Yeah. The cruise control, I, I don't know. I've ridden a few bikes with cruise control. And uh, my last one, I actually, I, I've told you a little bit about the Triumph Trophy SE. Yeah. That one, if I touch the throttle, um, 
I would lose the cruise control. It was that sensitive? Yeah, my Triumph's like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it's on more than that one model. Um, this one just works like a charm. On or off, set, you know, and then if you touch your brake or your clutch, it'll just shut it off. If you want, uh, if you want to just resume, just pull the button towards you and that's that. You don't have to reset it every time. No, no. And if you want to just um, inch it up a little bit, yep. touch it once, and it's like one mile uh, an hour faster. Or if you want to slow it down a little bit, so it's really, you can dial it in perfectly. Yep. I use it just to avoid getting speeding tickets. Right. Oh, no. Right it, over the limit. Right. You just, <laughs> not exactly. Yep. I did that on, I did that on my trip here. So it, that cruise control, it saves you. It does. Nice. And then what are these wings that you keep oh, you yeah. have out? And I was like, what the hell is the my Death Star coming up behind? Or my flying nun wings? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when you got all that wind protection, right? Yeah. It gets pretty hot back there. So I got these funky Obama ears or uh, flying <laughs> nun habits. He's saying this, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nothing against him, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Happens. But um, they may not look that cool, but it's so easy to just stick your hand out and pop it out. Yeah. On the other side, I just set cruise, reach out, pop it out with my throttle hand, and um, it can get some nice air going in at you, right at your jacket. You know, for me with my um, mass jacket, it works great. Excellent. Yeah, good question. Yeah, so the, um, you know, the, the, for the 18, they did a remodel of it, and they tweaked a little bit of the wind management. Yeah. Uh, they went with larger uh, engine guards. Okay. Because a small tip over with this bike can get pretty expensive. Right, right. I would recommend to anybody to get one of these. I heard of, of a guy who had eight grand in damage from a tip over before he pulled away on a test drive at the BMW in Barrington, Illinois. Really? Yeah, they said that this part right here is 250 bucks, just this one piece of plastic. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, so this is another add-on I got. You know, if there's a, a parking lot tip over or something. Yep. It's just these two hard plastic rubber things to protect from some kind of a slow speed thing rather than having a big mm -hmm. guard put out here. And then I got these for 35 bucks at Cycle Gear just to every now and then you know, yep. want to mix it up. So uh, what kind of fuel economy do you see with this thing? Um, well, I know you've got a pretty decent range with that seven gallon gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I think I'm getting somewhere around 40. Um, the way we rode today, I was kind of keeping the, the revs high. Yeah. So I'm sure we were chewing up through, you know, chewing up some gas there. But it only takes like 89. You don't have to go crazy with the premium stuff. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, and, but you could definitely, they made an effort to make it high performance, but also have really good fuel economy. So if you want, you can definitely get over 45 consistently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I think those are all the big things. I know in the 18 model when they did the redesign, they also gave it bigger mirrors. Okay. This has the mirror where um, it's also wider, and then this bends on the outside so you can see a little bit more. Oh, whoa, it's like a convex, like. Yeah, exactly. Wow, that's awesome. So this, and they're really stable. I mean, it's almost like a car's mirror, you know? You, yeah. You don't ever see anything. No other buffeting. Than a nice, clean. I'm image. sure the six cylinder doesn't vibrate at all. Yeah, no, that is, that is smooth. That's yeah, crazy smooth. Also, I know a lot of people like to compare it to the Goldwing, which I think is a little bit of, I'd, I'd rather compare it to the Kawasaki Concourse as far as the geometry, the size, the weight, the, the speed for performance. Right, right. But, some of the big differences, if you look at this versus the brand new Goldwing, mm -hmm. uh, this has a shorter wheelbase. Uh, this is about 60 pounds lighter. The saddlebags come off just like on the RT. The top case easily comes off. Uh oh, nice. And it looks great without the top case on. It doesn't have some funky thing underneath there. It's just a, a luggage rack. So uh, Strip it down and you could really rip. Oh, yeah, and, and, and the lean angle. And I'm a Honda fan. I love Honda engines. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, I, there would be no chance that I would ever get a. I, I test drove a F6B. Yeah. My, my first right hand turn, I was scraping things. Yeah. And you see me today. I yeah. Tried. You're. you're... I've, I've tried my darndest. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't scraped anything. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I'm actually really impressed with how composed it is. Um, I'm, I'm excited and eager to get a little test ride on it myself, just Heck to yeah. just to see how it runs. You know how it handles. Uh, you know, geometry-wise, from what I'm watching, it it's definitely pretty composed, and you're not even really pushing that bike in 
and how fast I'm pushing my Triumph, uh, you could probably, you could probably, you know, yeah, I don't think you could beat the limit of this bike really easily. Yeah, you've been moving today. I mean, <laughs> and again, I'm only about 3,000, not even 3,000 miles in on this, so I'm not there yet as far as that mind mill. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think once I get really comfortable, because like I said, I'm I'm leaning in trying to find, you know, what my range is with this, and I still haven't found the, the extreme yet. Right. And we're taking sweepers yeah. at, say, 35 miles an hour at what? <laughs> at 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Mr. Officer? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> No, it's um, it's I'm very impressed with it. Uh, what are, I, I I just wanted. To, what are these lights here? Oh yeah, so they made those uh, integrated turn signals and stuff. Yeah, I, I wanted. Could you power up the lights? Uh, that's one thing I did want to yeah, say. I that the lighting on this bike is quite remarkable. Um, look at that. See how it just pivots? It's all uh, wow. Like. Yeah, there you go. Because it's on an angle. And it reflects off a mirror. Like what a what a design. And the tail lights themselves, My tail lights. very clear, very concise. You know exactly what's happening. It's working. Yeah, it's working perfectly. Yeah, it's got a real easy way to just plug it in and unplug it when you want to take the top case off. So at home, this thing after a rally like this, it comes right off, goes into storage. Um, excellent, excellent. Well, Neil, thank you so much. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Uh, yeah, you know what? We should get in some trade and take a look at some of the uh, the menu in the console. That way you can see it maybe if you're going to shade over there. So this Wonder Wheel's kind of specific to th this model, new to this model this year? No, they've had the Wonder Wheel for a while. Um, but what's amazing is how easy it is to go through the menu. And it's really pretty simple once you get used to the layout. Yep. But here's your menu, and this is another life hack, by the way. You know, you got your suspension. Yep. So you got road and dynamic are your two choices for suspension. And then... 103 today, holy moly. Jesus. <laughs> um, and then it's either one up, one up with luggage or two up. So you pick road, you pick dynamic. I find that dy dynamic, if you're racing on a track, that's probably when you want to use that. Otherwise, right. it's pretty stiff. Yeah. Um, I find that road works, but the other thing is you have this mode button over here. Yeah. And what mode does is that'll give you your throttle response. So dynamic is what I like to leave it in. Yeah. Rain will obviously soften or slow that response. Right. And then there's also road. I find that road is still a little too soft. You okay. Know, like if you're trying to roll on the throttle just coming away from a stoplight, it's still too squishy for me. So. Uh, for me, I find that dynamic is the way to go. Okay. Uh, as far as the throttle settings concerned, um, and then so that's obviously you see it turns blue. Yep. That's the first menu. The second menu. Information. Yeah. So you can decide. Right now, I'm showing temperature. If you want, you can show tire pressure. Um, you got the. Well, you can adjust your whole, basically your whole dash yeah you can flip through or if you're riding and you just want to see something else you know in the meantime uh, you can actually do that um, you know while you're out riding you could say you know take a look heck if you wanted to know the date for crying out loud but if you want to <laughs> check your tire pressure right right you know um, or you can just leave it there and have that as your default setting I like the temperature especially when I'm at a rally and it's 94 degrees right oh you mean 103 <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's nasty 103. it's a warm day today <laughs> and then uh, you know you set it and you can leave it that way so it'll stay that way then you got your trip one your trip two you just push the wonder wheel yeah to reset it and it'll reset that back to zero so right now I'm at 133 miles on my current tank and this is for the GPS you can zoom in of the GPS that's yep. just your regular Garmin GPS um, also the nice thing is you drop this in and it locks it in by the, the windshield every time the pipe power, powers down the windshield closes down yeah and that keeps the GPS in so you don't have to worry about locking it up or taking it out every time oh really it stays in there full time yeah so the GPS is an auxiliary unit basically yeah they really they I mean they've integrated it to the point where they've got this menu here you can zoom in you can zoom out you can even shut the display off 
That is awesome. Yeah, so some pretty cool things. The next menu over, that's your handlebar heat. So you, you go to that, you crank it up, you crank it down. A lot of times in the cold months, I like to leave that as my favorite. All you have to do to set a favorite is over here on the menu button. Yep. That triangle, that, yep. di that diamond, you just press and hold that for your favorite menu. My little life hack is I just, here's the seat by the way. The next menu is your heated seat. Oh man. Minimum, maximum. The last one is audio. I made this my favorite because this is my little life hack. If I go into anything, rather than hitting it four more times to get it back to the speed, yep. I just press favorite and one more menu and it takes me right back to my speed. So it jumps to that last one menu and then I hit, hit it one more time and I'm in. So if you followed that, it's just a nice little life hack to skip every, you know, whenever you want to go into it, you can pop right back to your speed easily. Wow. So then you see what gear you're in over here. Yep. Throttle response over here is your suspension. It shows that you're one up with luggage. I have temperature. That's your trip one. <laughs> yeah. So, and then you know you got your usual stuff. Your tack. I use a digital speedo all day long. Also on on the GPS, of course, you've got your. You can see your speedo there too. Wow. Yeah. So um, if you do have the stereo on and you got your GPS going with the speed, that's kind of my fallback. Because yep. once you have the stereo or any kind of sound, auxiliary, this thing also has Sirius radio, Sirius XM. Yep. So, uh, you know, anytime you're listening to any kind of audio, you lose that digital speedo. So this kind of comes in handy up there. Excellent. That's yeah. pretty interesting. So, yeah, I mean, that Wonder Wheel is pretty sweet. Yeah, I can't believe how intuitive this thing it, is. It is very, and it makes it so much easier. Instead of going through and pushing buttons, you just kind of... Yeah, and I know I told you this story earlier. Um, I was actually in a Leap Parks Total Control class doing an exercise, and I didn't want this thing on because it was kind of a distraction. So I just hit the menu, got to the navigation, I scrolled through to see if there was a way to shut it off. Yep, there was. Press the Wonder Wheel in while I'm doing the exercise. Wow. So, yeah, and my last bike, that Triumph Trophy SE, Anybody who's tried to use their onboard computer, yeah, like that was the opposite end of the spectrum. Right. Most intuitive, the most challenging to get through and figure out. Yeah. But, I mean, it had some good functionality. It's just hard to figure it all out. Wow. Hopefully, that sound came through over all that. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Cold yeah. fan. It should be fun. action. Awesome. All right. Well, Neil, once again, appreciate the time. Um, you know, and uh, I, I, you know, there, like you said, there isn't much information on on this uh, 18 model. So I'm glad that we could fill in some folks that may be interested in what the new 18 K1600 GTL has to offer. Uh, you know, uh, as I always encourage, like, comment, questions, dislike. I'm open to discussion. Make sure you comment below. Make sure you subscribe. We've always got interesting things going on. I love listening to my viewers, uh, having good active conversation. So keep it real, guys. Ride safe. Best.